These are the things we will be needing to boost the wireless network card. A knife, screwdriver, wireless network card, antenna, TV cable, and a pair of pliers. Now what we will be doing here is we'll strip the cap from the base on the antenna with a simple knife. Slowly cut open the cap and remove it from the base of the antenna. This is the part that we'll be using. Now strip the end of the cable with the pliers and as it shown, coil the end of the wire two to three times and leave half an inch or to an inch of straight line at the top. Make sure the outer wires don't touch the copper wire and slowly use the cap of the antenna to, co to cover the end of the wire. Now you should have something that looks like this. Now with the screwdriver, use the end part as a measurement and place it next to the wire and coil the end five to six times around the screwdriver. Now remove the screwdriver and slowly separate the rings by pulling from each side slowly and keep around half an inch between each ring. Now at the other end of the wire what I did is I attached a head screw that I've got from Radio Shack that fits the wireless network card. Now you can have this wire as long as you want it. Let's see what happens when we attach it to a computer. I have to attach it outside and as you can see there's no buildings on the right or left but the buildings that are in front of me. There are 500 to 550 yards away and let's connect it to the computer and see what we could get. I've used the software Wireless Mon to detect the SSID that are around me. Now when I've connected it you can see that I've got all these IDs from the next building that is 500 yards away. Imagine what will happen if the building is right next to me.